my friends, and welcome back to MTD CNC. We are in India today, and even more specifically in Bangalore. And I'm visiting my friends at Phillips Machine Tool and my buddy Swamp No. We're going to talk a little bit more about Hermalay, but why it's so significant for Hermalay to be here in Bangalore, which is a global leader in aerospace, and how Hermalay supports the aerospace industry as a whole. But as you guys know, and I've said this before, I am not the expert. I bring the experts with me. So Swamp Nail, thank you so much for being a part of MTD CNC. Thank you, Tony, for my introduction. And you're welcome here in Philips Machine Tools, Bangalore, right in the heart of uh, Aerospace and Defense Park in India. It really is the heart. And we're in a new facility here. You guys continue to expand at Philips. Let's talk about the significant reasons why you've chosen to move into Bangalore with the Hermalay machines and all the other quality products you have. Yeah, in India, like we have aerospace division is increasing a lot, and that's why we have decided to move in India, which is the heart of Bang in Bangalore, which is the heart of aerospace and defense. Yeah, you are so right about that. What a great enterprise of aerospace companies here in Bangalore, and I know it's important for you because Philips prides themselves on service to be closer to where your customers are. So, at a drop of a hat, you guys can go help your your guys out, right? Your customers out. Yeah. It's, we have a good team over here in Bangalore and all over India for Hamle, which has been trained in Hamle by the Hamle team, and uh, we are very quick in the service for Hamle. So now that we know the reasons for being here, let's talk specifically about Hamle because you and I know it's a powerful German project uh, product. It is one of those ones that's seen all over the world in aerospace companies. And here in India, we're still possibly learning about some of those significant details of what sets Hermalay apart from other machines. So let's talk about some of those Hermalay details. This machine is 100% made in Germany. This has been mineral casting based, very good thermal uh, stability for this machine, very good dampening properties. This machine with uh, tandem drives and very rigid for cutting, very good spindle. Uh, we have patented spindle for this machine and uh, we also have a special uh, scales for this machine. So this machine comes with a resolution of 0 0.01 micron uh, on the scales. Wow. And uh, this machine comes with a torque motor in the C axis. So very higher RPMs, like this is particular machine is with 65 RPM in C axis, 40 RPM, uh, sorry, 25 RPM in the A axis and uh, a dynamic machine. Well, Germany, as we all know, is world renowned for its capabilities in engineering, whether it's precision or rigidity. And being in America, I get to talk with the Hermley guys there as well, and they told me once, even in song form, that it's all about that bass, right? Can we talk about the importance and the unique characteristics of the Hermalay bass that keeps that rigidity? And then once you uh, signify that part, let's talk about how important rigidity is in the industry when machining aerospace parts. So yes. let's talk about the base and then the importance of rigidity. Yes, so basically this is with mineral casting, so this is a single block casting uh, with patented design for the LM guideways for this machine. This machine is with gantry design, completely gantry design. All the three axes are on the spindle. A very good uh, pure point for this machine, so accuracies of these machines are uh, very good. And due to the mineral casting base, we get the stability, the damping properties for this machine are very nice. So that is the key thing for this machine. And we can cut uh, any part, any type of part, like from starts from aluminum till titanium, we can cut with the same spindles on this machine. Yeah, you're definitely right about that. When it comes to the hardness of material, it, it almost has infinite capabilities, this machine, with that rigidity. When I think about rigidity, I often think about, well, what does it give me? Well, it gives me the capability to go faster in my feed rate. It gives me a capability to go deeper in my cuts. It allows me to have a better uh, finish on my product without having to do too many finish passes or excess work after it comes off of the machine. That's what this base can do. But now that we know that, let's talk about the precision and accuracy, right? Because oftentimes we are working in microns in the aerospace industry and in many other industries as well, but microns. And when we look at Hermalay and the precision of Hermalay, we reach all of those tolerances, don't we? Yeah, definitely. Now here we are giving eight microns positioning accuracy for the entire travel of the machine. So we, we can achieve below 25 microns cubical accuracy for the entire travel. And uh, this machine, as compared to the size of the machine, the travels of the machine, the footprint of the machines are very smaller. Would you mind explaining the details when we're talking about the accuracy of the machine? There are some folks out there that 
may not understand, so we'll try to explain it to them. The difference between if I have a three axis machine and I say my accuracy from hole one to hole two is a couple of microns, somewhat easy to accomplish in the whole scheme of things. But when we're talking about five axis machining and we're talking about the Z axis travel of that main spindle and we start to expand the distance in all rotations, that accuracy can get lost real easy. But in the right. Hermelay, we don't. Can we talk a little bit about that? So here we have a very close up your point for all the axes. So uh, it's very closer to the table and the spindle is identical, like uh, all the three axes are identical from the table. So we are getting very good accuracy. We are actually working near to the pivot point of the component and that is very much important. So the intersection of this uh, machines is very closer to each other. It's intersection of the axis is very closer to each other. I, I agree and something else I really like about Hermley is its flexibility. Yeah. I see this thing doing some really cool dance moves sometimes, right? It's, <laughs> yeah. It looks like a dance move yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, we're machining something, yeah. but there is a great amount of flexibility to a Hermelay yes, for yeah. the parts that can come in and out of it yeah, as well, yeah, aren't yeah, there? Yeah. So we have a tandem drive on this machine. So we have a, a, on the both the sides. So, for example, this particular machine is having a load carrying ca uh, capacity of one ton, and wow. uh, uh, due to the flex flexibility of this, like we have a. We have two motors on both the sides, which is synchronizing the table, so very faster table. And we have a C-axis. We have a tandem, uh, We have a torque motor, so which is also very fast, like 65 rpm for this size of machine. And that's why we have very good flexibility with the rapids of 60 meters on this machine. So you can see the component what we are doing right now. So it's a blisk of uh, stainless steel, and really, it's, uh, maybe we have completed this this within 10 hours, below 10 hours. Yeah. Incredible stats. Now. Another thing I think of, and please correct me if I'm wrong, because you know you're the expert and I'm just here learning from you, right? But correct me if I'm wrong, when I think about the word Germany and I think about the quality of Germany, oftentimes we think of a high price that comes along with it. But mathematically, when we're looking at a price per part or reducing cycle times, at the end of the day, these things pay for themselves very quickly because that price per part is lower than it could be on a less rigid, less flexible, less accurate machine because there's less scrap and longer tool life and everything that comes along with it, right? Yeah. So here, like, we are also looking for the price per part. That is a good question. But again, the accuracy, what we are getting. So the speed of the machine and the accuracy, the, the result of the part should match each other. So here we can really achieve that uh, with the speed and also the accuracies of the part. Something else I'd like to cover, if it's okay with you, is the software of the machine. You know, we see a lot of different machine interfaces out there, programming. We're looking at hide and hide in here, right? Yeah. How user-friendly do you feel like this interface is? And on top of user-friendly, what are some of the main characteristics or attributes that can be utilized in this software that maybe are unique to the industry that a, a possible customer might want to know about? Yeah, so we have dynamic efficiency of the software in this machine where like, you can have different cycles where you can really control the chattering of the component, you can control the vibrations on the component. Wow. So, which is a unique feature from Hydenen as well as from Siemens. So we offer Siemens 840 DSL and we offer uh, Hydenen TNC 640. So we are working very closely uh, with these two software manufacturers to optimize the machine. So Humble team is uh, really involved in optimizing the uh, machine with the help of the software guys and really we are working on the cycle so we have some special cycles on the machine developed with the help of the software purposes. Swap note, well you and I have talked a lot about aerospace. The reason why Philips came into Bangalore except this isn't just for aerospace is it? This is for an array of different areas within the manufacturing sector. Yeah, so definitely we are there into aerospace and defense, turbocharger, we are there into diamond mold. We are very strong in the uh, tool industry, cutting tool industry in India, and uh, uh, we are there in the R&D sectors also. As I'm traveling around India, I'm seeing more and more Hermley machines, and I'm seeing them at the most successful companies across the country. So I hope the audience understands how significant this machine can be, and I do wish you, on behalf of MTD and on behalf of Philips, of course, yeah. all the success moving forward with Hermelay here in India. Guys, I hope you've learned as much as I have today. What an incredible story. Powerful machine. Swamp Nail, thank you so much for sharing that story with the global thank audience you, watching right now. Thank you very much.